Good morning. International footballer Danny Alves has been conditionally released from jail after he paid bail of €1 million. Euros. Alves was sentenced to four and a half years in prison last month after a court found him guilty of raping a woman in a Barcelona nightclub in 2022. Yesterday, the court gave the former Barcelona and Brazil footballer permission to leave jail pending his appeal after he made the stated bail. The 40-year-old has been held in pre-trial detention since January 2023. The conditions for his release include handing over both of his passports so he is unable to leave Spain. He must also appear before the court on a weekly basis. The court additionally imposed a restraining order, preventing him from approaching the victim. The judge yesterday reversed course and halted his controversial order to temporarily suspend the messaging app Telegram pending a police report on the company. Judge Santiago Pedraz of the High Court on Friday ordered a temporary suspension of Telegram after media companies complained it was violating their intellectual property rights by allowing users to upload their content without permission. Telegram is an encrypted messaging platform that also allows users to set up their own channels to broadcast content. Pedraz issued the suspension order after officials in the Virgin Islands, where Telegram is registered as a business, failed to respond to a July 2023 court request for information. Telegram says it has 700 million monthly active users across the world. Israel told four European countries yesterday that their plan to work towards recognition of a Palestinian state constituted a prize for terrorism that would reduce the chances of a negotiated resolution to the conflict between the two neighbours. Spain said on Friday that in the name of Middle East peace, it had agreed with Ireland, Malta and Slovenia to take the first steps towards recognising statehood declared by the Palestinians in the Israeli-occupied West Bank and the Gaza Strip. Gaza has long been under the rule of the Islamic group Hamas, which rejects peace with Israel and attacked it on October the 7th, triggering a devastating war that has stoked violence in the West Bank, where Israel has extensive Jewish settlements. Recognition of a Palestinian state following the October 7th massacre sends a message to Hamas and the other Palestinian terrorist organisations. The murderous terrorist attacks on Israel will be reciprocated with political gestures to the Palestinians, so Israel's foreign minister said on X, formerly Twitter, Israel has long ruled out Palestinian statehood. And the Canary Islands have ramped up their anti-tourism drive with the biggest ever protest against holidaymakers planned for next month in Tenerife and Gran Canaria. Twenty associations on Gran Canaria have also called for a protest against the overcrowding on the island. The mass protest, set to take place on April the 20th on both islands, aims to shed light on the environmental impact tourist levels are having on the holiday destinations. Under the slogan, the Canary Islands has a limit, the groups will demand better conservation of the island's natural spaces. That's the latest from TRE. I'm Bob James.